Hi there, just going to talk a little bit about um, uh, choosing and fitting a boot cramp on for when you're going ski touring or ski mountaineering. Um, first of all, why do you need a cramp on for your boot? Well, there are sort of some, some circumstances where um, in an emergency, if you encountered unexpected ice when you're skiing or someone's lost a ski and you need to recover it, you may need crampons to get over a short section of icy ground that you can't cross on your skis or would be too dangerous to cross on foot otherwise. The second main reason for carrying a crampon is when you're planning to use it because your plan involves uh, crossing ground that's going to be steep, uh, rocky and in many conditions icy and it's ground that you're not going to be, you know you're not going to be skiing and you're likely to be on foot and that's more getting into the territory of ski mountaineering. So. Those are the two basic reasons why you want a crampon. Um, what are you going to look for in your crampon depends on what you're planning to do. If you're looking for a crampon for just in case scenarios, then it should be as light as possible um, and compact. And that way you're much more likely to pack it and have it available if you need it. Um, the biggest problem with crampons tends to be that folk just don't want to carry them because of the extra weight and they don't think they're going to need them, but they can be a real lifesaver in some circumstances. So if you're looking for lightweight, there are a lot of options on the market, but generally specialist ski mountaineering crampons are made from an aluminium alloy and a very, very lightweight, and this is one of the lightest weight models on the mar uh, market, which is a Petzl Leopard. Um, fully alloy both front and back. You do get a version of it which has a steel front end which is a bit more durable but also a bit heavier. Um, the other kind of crampon that you might get if you're thinking about for more general use uh, and if you're planning to use it and this is also if you can your budget's only going to stretch to getting one pair of crampons that you want to be able to use across a full range of boots would be an example like this uh, which is a steel crampon with 10 points and it's got a binding system that will allow it to fit pretty much any kind of boot that will take a crampon. And the third kind that you might be looking at is something which is a bit more specialised for mountaineering use and this is a 12 point crampon, again it's made out of a steel alloy um, and it's uh, you know, gonna, uh, able, you're going to be able to use this on pretty much uh, every kind of ground apart from for you know, steep ice climbing and then you need a more specialised crampon for that. So those are the three basic kind of crampons, we've each got slightly different binding systems as well. Um, so apart from the weight of the crampon and the kind of use you're going to put it to, the other really important thing when selecting a crampon is it has to be able to fit your boot. And not every kind of crampon is a good fit with every model or design of boot. Um, first thing, all ski boots are fully rigid, all ski mountaineering boots, so that means the sole is fully rigid and that means it will take any kind of crampon on the market. Um, but that doesn't mean to say it will be a really good fit for every kind of crampon on the market. But it does mean that um, you'll be able to use a really flexible crampon like this all the way through to something which is more rigid, like this, through to even the fully rigid crampons that are designed for specialised mountaineering and ice climbing. So that's one useful thing, it uh, gives you a bit of flexibility in your choice, but the other thing that you really need to make sure with whatever cramping you get that it is a good fit for your boot and that the binding system that it uses is compatible. And there are basically three different kind of binding systems. Um, there's this type which has got a metal bale at the front and a lever at the heel and that generally only works on boots that have got a big, lug at the, a big lug at the front. Um, the next type is a sort of a hybrid between the two where it's got the lever at the back and then a plastic kind of strop at the front um, which doesn't require the big lug at the front and will fit a wider range of boots. And then the final type of binding 
is one which is common in the sort of uh, more general purpose walking crampons and that's got a plastic loop at the toe and also a heel cup uh, a heel cup at the back and doesn't require the boot to have a feature like this at the back. So those are the three basic kind of binding systems that you get um, and then when it comes to selecting your crampon that you're going to get you need to think well is it going to fit well with my boot and that's when buying your crampons online isn't such a good idea and what you really want to do is take your boot into your local shop that's hopefully got a good selection of um, ski touring suitable crampons and McNeon crampons and just try different types with your boot there in the shop to see what will fit and what will work with your boot. And what you're really looking for is that when the crampon is fit to the boot it's really tight and solid and that there's no gaps or there's no play in it. That's particularly important when you're looking at these very lightweight uh, ally crampons which are, are really good but they have to be a good fit to the boot otherwise it's quite easy for them to come off. And the way that you'll know it's a good fit is really you can, you can hear, you can tell. And first of all, crampons come in left and right as well, so make sure that you're putting the, uh, the, the right crampon on the right boot. And normally you can tell that either because you can see from the curve of the crampon, makes it obvious, it might even have it stamped on the crampon frame, whether it's left or right, but in all cases, on the heel, the buckle system, uh, the buckle loops, should always be on the outside. Um, so a left crampon will always have this part of the buckle on the left hand side. So to check the fit, just get the crampon in a good location and what you're looking to see is it's nice and tight up the front and then when you come to engage the heel lever, you're looking for a really nice clean snap like that. And that tells me it's a really good tight fit. There's no very little play in that. The crampon is really securely attached to the boot. And that is a sign of a good fit. The other sign of a good fit is that um, the front points are nice and clear of the boot and that they're not actually um, being um, obscured by the toe of the boot because uh, the more that the front points are sort of hidden by the toe of the boot the less there is to bite into snow and ice. So looking for that snap fit is really important and if you can't get that fit proper in the comfort of your own home you're really going to struggle when you're on a mountainside. So again with this type Again, it's just you put the boot in, make sure it's all lined up, and then once again, you're looking for that nice tight fit. And then with this type, you would always have to finish it off by pulling the strap through. And doing the buckle up. tuck away any excess. And the reason that the buckle always goes on the outside of the foot is so that you don't inadvertently snag it with the points of the other crampon. If it's on the inside there's always a chance that you can snag that with your other foot and that can cause a trip hazard. Turning to the third type of crampon, um, again it's the same idea that you're going to look to make sure that the boot is a nice uh, snug fit and that the front so the front metal posts and the rear metal posts are nice and snug and then with this type uh, doing the strapping is really important you want to make sure that as you thread it through the strap is nice and flat and there are no twists and kinks in it that will help you get, make sure you can pull it tight. And again, you finish off 
the double buckle. So I'm just getting the buckle in and then what I'm going to do is pull all the slack out and then tighten it up like so. Now you can see the buckles right down on the tool up there, it'd actually be better positioned about halfway along here. Um, I wouldn't normally use these crampons with these ski boots, however they're a very good fit and they'll certainly work and again you have to tuck away the slack. Now if you find that your straps when you first buy them have got a lot of extra slack in them you probably want to trim them but don't cut the straps until you're certain that they fit your ski boots well and get that out of the way. So what kind of crampon you should get will depend on what you're planning to do and what your budget stretches to. If you're just looking for a crampon that you can use for ski touring, ski mountaineering as well as winter hill walking and uh, you know general winter mountaineering then there's absolutely nothing wrong with these. Um, this kind, this is the Gravel Air Tech Lite, that'll uh, so it's got a bit more performance in it and it's a bit easier to get on and off with the, with the heel binding. And with these, these are really only for that um, occasional use, so use on snow, they're, they're good for glacier travel uh, in the Alps, uh, but they're not going to be durable on rock um, because they're made out of aluminium alloy and that's just not as durable. However, what's great about them is they're really light and they pack away and you're much more likely to carry them in your bag as a result. Um, the only final sort of point to note is the difference between 10 and 12 point. 12 point uh, basically means, as well as the two front point, there are 10 downward, downward facing points on this crampon, whereas the other two have only got eight downward facing points, and that offers slightly, uh, slightly better traction when using certain cramponing techniques, but 10 point crampons are generally perfectly fine for ski touring uh, ski touring use.